Welcome back to my channel guys we are out here in lake eola park and today we are going to be begging people for gas money but only if they voted for joe biden because a lot of the problems we're having in america today are not just joe biden's fault but it's the people that elected to put him in office so i blame the joe biden voters they were tricked by the fake news the propaganda to vote against their own interests and, uh, you know, I woke up in 2019, so there is hope. You know, someone in my comments said that we can't make much of a difference at this point. No, we can, because people like me, Tower from the Polish American Brotherhood, we were liberals until just a couple years ago. So there is hope. And uh, yeah, let's go see if anybody's willing to donate any money to my cause. Make sure you watch it all the way through to see if I've generated any funds from any generous Joe Biden voters who put us in this situation. So thanks again, Joe Biden, and of course, his voters. Let's see what happens. Any chance you guys voted for Joe Biden? Because I need some gas money. Only from Joe Biden voters, though. Let's see if there are any kind and tolerant Joe Biden voters here that are going to be willing to help a poor Mexican afford gas in Joe Biden's America. You know, Joe Biden and his uh, and the regime, they're, they're bankrupting the middle and lower class. And uh, I don't think this is an accident. I truly think that this is by design. And you guys got to realize here in Lake Eola, this is probably at least 70% Joe Biden voters. If someone gives me money, I'll be very impressed and thrilled. You're Joe Biden voter? No? Are you guys Joe Biden voters? Because I need, I need gas money. Not Joe Biden voters. Thank you for not voting for Joe. You got any money for me? Can't afford gas anymore in Joe Biden's America. This is a lesson, guys, in humility. And, and, and now I, I see what it's like to beg for money. This is, I've been out here for a minute. And I got to say, guys, this shit is not easy. But hopefully people realize that this is a satire, satirical video which can maybe hurt my chances, right? Nice Corgi. Is there any chance that you voted for Joe Biden? Okay, thank you for not voting for him. Just trying to raise some gas money because of what the Joe Biden voters have done to our country. Do you guys vote for Joe Biden? I need some gas money. No, I didn't vote for Joe Biden. I'm having, you voted for Joe Biden. So you owe me just $2 per gallon because you're the ones who should be paying the extra, not me. I, I voted for Trump. I want $1.48 gas again. Yeah, but we had dollar forty-eight gas. Was it worth it, sir? The war in Russia, Ukraine, was it worth it? I don't think it was worth it. I don't think they know what they voted for. These people, they just voted for the propaganda. That's what they voted for. They voted for they voted for the fake news and the lies about Trump because they watch too much CNN, MSNBC, ABC, BuzzFeed News. This is what they do, and then they go in with their anger and their emotions, and then they vote, and they don't do any of the, any of the research. You know, they don't, they don't fact check themselves. They don't fact check the fact checkers. That's what happens. But didn't Biden uh, help people with student loans and cure cancer and... Uh... I'm gonna set the camera. So uh, Joe Biden actually promised to cancel student loan debt. Right. And then he didn't do that, he backtracked. Right, then he, of then he said he was gonna reduce student loan debt and then right. he didn't do that and he backtracked and said nothing's going to be done. Right. He also he, said he was going to cure cancer. He promised cancer. he was going to cure cancer. <laughs> if I'm elected president, you're going to see the single most important thing that changes in America is we're going to cure cancer. <laughs> and I'll be honest, though, if, if Joe Biden does cure cancer, he'll make me a supporter because that'll be unbelievable. Oh, well, yeah, that would be unbelievable. But who promises that? He uh, made a promise. He said, we promise we're going to cure it in my administration. A complete psychopath. Right. This He's is crazy. what you have to be to promise people things like this you cannot deliver, and you know you cannot deliver. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So I'm just out here trying to spread the word, you know, and, and just put it in Biden voters' faces what they've done to our country. And they don't like it. You saw the, how the guy reacted? Yeah, well... He didn't like it. The, the people on this side, they're very emotional, and they have a difficult time looking at the truth. Right. And, uh, you know, for what it is. That's right. 
uh, I, I'm not a Trump, I'm not a Trump supporter either. You know, he did. I, I thought he was much better than any president we've had in the last uh, thirty yeah. years. In my lifetime. Or whatever. Yeah, me too. Yeah. It, it, this is true. But still, he did many things that I didn't agree with also. Of course. He's not a perfect man. Right. But his policies, I think, were strong for America, and he made me very proud to be an American. Yeah, he did uh, put the American people over foreign yeah. governments. America first. But but Joe Biden, he's making too much money off these foreign countries, yep. like Ukraine and China, to to go against them. Yep. Uh, he, he can't. His, his pocketbook will take a hit. That's right. Yeah. Also, he's trying to take our guns away while he's giving the Taliban hundreds of thousands of them. Millions of guns, <laughs> millions of dollars, billions in guns. And he's exactly right. This is what co- the government try to do. They try to de- de- de-arm their people and then they usher in communism. So we can't do that. we got to protect our constitution. Yeah, like all the problems that face this country, I could solve them quickly and easily. Uh, but people on the left, they would never go for the kind of ideas that I have. Right, you know, like legalized prostitution, legalized yep. drugs. Yep. This this would cut down on violent crime. Oh, I agree with you 100 percent on both of those options. Yeah, uh, I would go those. into these neighborhoods where they don't allow people to have guns because the majority of the people that live there are good, hardworking people. That's right. But they're not allowed to own guns. That's when, right. When you take the guns away from the good people, bad things happen. Correct. Uh, you know. More kids were shot in Chicago last year than died of COVID. That is fact. They're not trying to do anything about this. That's right. They're trying to stick a mask on your face and make you get a shot. Right. You know? Did you get the shot? No. <laughs> My guy, God bless you. I was we're the pure bloods. I was living in Cambodia. I came back because pure they bloods. were trying to force me to get it. Yeah, so. they put you in the camps in Cambodia. They had to shut those camps down because they got in trouble. Well, I wasn't in a camp, but they I put came the Irish back. kid in there and he exposed how bad it was there. So Cambodia yeah, had to shut it down. Yeah, crazy. Yeah, I came back. I'm not a fan of any of these politicians. Only these psychopathic, crazy people get to the top of politics. Right. You know? Well, you got to be crazy to be a politician or a CEO. That's what right, they say. You got to right. be a psychopath. And, you know, since they've made corruption legal by calling it lobbying, yeah. you know, our government is just nothing but sellouts. Yep. No, I'm with you 100%. There's, there's nothing left in our government to salvage. We should really just end the federal government. Just give the power back to the states the way it's supposed to be right that way if you don't like one state you can go to a Pick different move, state yeah. that's right that's a good point you know there's 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 a way to solve all of these problems but politicians will never do it because it will cost them money right you know their their whole game is lying stealing and killing that's right so thank you i appreciate your words thank you hey did you guys vote for joe biden by chance no good for you guys thank you thank you for not voting for joe I need gas money, but only from Joe Biden voters. Are you a Joe Biden voter? I need some gas money. This is your fault. You voted for this. A woman with a sticker in her back car window. And the sticker was Biden and Harris. That's who to vote for. So I wanted to get a retention. I kept on blowing the horn, but she just kept going. She knew there was something happening. So I want to find out if she, well, how's it going? Yeah. I mean, how's everybody, how's life now that it's yeah. $5 a gallon almost? Yeah. How, how are the people in Russia and Ukraine doing because of who you put in yeah, office? Yeah, he really messed them up. Yeah, it's crazy, right? Have you? Would you expect our country to be in this position in your lifetime? Well, he went to Vietnam. That was the worst thing. Yeah, that, sh- that was pretty bad. So I wasn't alive at that time. My dad was in that war, though. Yeah, I so was I. But my dad, oh, you were. Thank you, yeah. sir. Thank you so much for the service. What are you eating, by the way? Dark chocolate raisins. Oh, that's healthy. You want some? Oh, no, thank you. But that's a healthy treat. Yeah. Yeah, dark chocolate but, antioxidants. And the other, most other worst thing was the day John F. Kennedy got killed. Mm, yeah, they used to, these are not part of my lifetime, but, yeah. I mean, you've seen some, some epic, you know, not epic, but no, historical moments. I watched moments. it on TV where the guy shot the guy that shot the, the Kennedy. That's crazy. But he never, from what everything I'm reading now... He never shot Kennedy. Well, thank you, sir, for your words. I appreciate you. Thank you for the service. Take care. Thank you. Did any of you guys uh, vote for Joe Biden? Because I need some gas money. No, Joe Biden voters, thank you for voting for Trump. Thank you. Did you guys vote for Biden? Because I need gas money. I can't afford these prices. I think he's wonderful. 
So I don't know if you heard that, guys, but she says, I think he's wonderful. This is what we're up against. Some people think he's wonderful. You know, they say that the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Just going to throw that quote out there. All right, guys. Chicka Bapa alert. Chicka Bapa alert. We'll try to get her on the channel. Maybe she'll be the cover art. Did you guys vote for Joe Biden? Because I need some gas money if you guys did. <laughs> no? Did you guys vote for Joe Biden? Did you vote for Joe Biden? Yeah, because if you did, I need gas money. I didn't vote at all. You didn't vote? No, I didn't. Make sure you vote for Trump next election. I wouldn't vote for Trump either. God bless Trump. He'll get our country back on track. He'll save the world. So it's starting to drizzle a little bit, guys, so I don't know how much more we can shoot, but we're gonna keep going for you guys. I feel like I got another 15 minutes out here today. <laughs> Watch what I'm about to say to this guy. <laughs> Sir, you look like a uh, Biden voter. Do you have any gas money? Do you guys see that? He pointed at me and said, don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. Oh, he's pissed. That is a Biden voter. How are you doing, guys? That was a very angry vo uh, Biden voter. That man was a very angry Biden voter. Any chance you voted for Joe? Could spare a few bucks for the gas prices? So far, guys, I've raised zero dollars from these generous Biden voters. They take no accountability for what they've done to our country. Zero. None. Did you guys vote for Joe Biden by chance? Because I need help with the gas money. Uh, sorry, we're from Russia. Oh, Russia. Wow, okay. What are your, real quick, what are your thoughts on what's going on in the world right now? Can I get you on my channel? Uh, maybe. Yeah. Here. Here, so what are, your, what are your thoughts about what's going on in the world? I think it's crazy. We uh, don't like uh, politic Putin. We don't like it. You don't like Putin? Yeah. What would you tell Putin if you could talk to him right now? If you could say anything to him directly. I don't know. I, I think I'm afraid to uh, say him any words. Then don't say anything. Leave it at that. Um, thank you, guys. How do you say thank you? Uh, no, please. My English, my English very bad. Das vadan, das vadan ya? Spasiba. Uh, Spasiba. Spasiba, thank you, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So there are a lot of Russians out here in Orlando. So that's pretty cool to uh, be able to talk to them about what's going on in Russia. And, uh, you know, as you can see, they were, they're anti the war of what's going on. So that's, that's nice to see. We spoke about this on my podcast, the TNA show, as well as the Ricky Rebel podcast that we filmed today, that there's a uh, pro-war movement that's happening now, pro-Russia war movement. Um, I personally am just, I'm very anti-violence, anti-war, so I won't take the side of the aggressor. Um, and I, I just don't know what's true and what's false anymore because the, the fake news media has done such a number on trust. I, I just don't know what to believe. Hi there. Any chance you voted for Joe Biden? Because I need help with the gas prices right now. I need help too. <laughs> but did you vote for Joe Biden? So far, we've uh, triggered a few libs out here. Who, uh, are obviously upset by my sign because they know that they, they need to be accountable. They need to, they need to do some self-reflection. They need to spend some time alone and just, you know, reflect on what they've done to our country. So if I was a Biden voter, I'd be upset too right now because I thought that he was gonna, you know, save us. And instead he's ruined us. It's just I've never seen America change so much in just a couple years. It's un less in a year and a month. It's un it's unbelievable, and it's really the it's uh, it's the big tech and the fake news that did this to us. So got to fix it. It must be fixed. So that is going to wrap it up, guys. Uh, I've raised zero money today from the Biden voters. Clearly, they're not generous. They're not taking accountability or responsibility for their actions. And I'm not surprised. A lot of them were upset at me and angry at me. Didn't really want to engage with me because um, they're just, they're not tolerant. So thanks again for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, like, comment, share, subscribe, and tell a friend because I'm shadow banned by the YouTube algorithm. 
which means my videos, they don't get recommended like they're supposed to. And I think my content's pretty decent. So go tell the friends and be free my sheeple. Mm -hmm.